Hello. Oh. Yo. Back at you in 2018 with Blackit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we decided that what we're going to do with those kind of um, those rivets, with the um, the shiny rivets, is we're going to mat those back, or we're going to black them essentially. Um, now, in previously, I've used a Birchwood KC blacking solution. It's worked really well, but I was aware of a little company called Blackit, who are based in Wales in the UK, and they provide blacking solutions. So. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a little run through of using it. We've got a couple of setups. Um, not only do they do mild steel blacking, but they also do a copper and brass blacking solution. So we're going to use both. The brassing process is a two stage process. The um, mild steel uh, blacking process is a five stage process. So I think rather than me chatting, let's just get kind of into it. So we're gonna start with the brass blacking uh, solution here. So what we're going to do is, first part of the process is to use the alkaline degreaser. This morning, I kind of roughly formed out kind of a bit of a jokey brass plate there. So hopefully that should have cleared all the um, kind of grease off that component. What I'm gonna do quickly is just wash that alkaline degreaser off that piece of thing in some just ordinary plain water. At this point, what we've got here is a polypropylene bath, and it says in an ideal world, let me just double check this, yeah. Uh, so essentially this solution works best between 30 and 50 degrees Celsius. So let's, I think I do actually have 29 degrees Celsius there. Tell you what we're going to do. Let's uh, let's stick with the health and safety thing. Let's get some rubber gloves on and some safety glasses. I'll be back with you in a second. You ready? Uh, not quite yet. So we've degreased in alkaline degreaser. We've then given it a little wash in a deionized water bath. The next process is to take our brass antique. Well, here we go. Let's give you a close up there before we do that. I eventually got focus. Oh good, good. Well, well done camera boy. Mm. So let's just give ourselves a little bit of that solution. Now essentially, again, this is a submersive operation, so what we're going to do... Oops. Okay, there we go. I'll give that a little shake. And what we'll do is just drop that into that solution. Now, make sure that is fully submerged. There we go refer back to the uh, destructions. Is that reacting in there? Uh, not at this point, um, but it does It does need to kind of sit in there for a little while. Actually, it is uh, reacting. Oh yeah, here we go, let's have a little look. Ah, oh that's a shame, isn't it? We've obviously got a little bit of contamination somewhere. Can you see that kind of just starting to go, that beautiful coppery red colour? And actually, when I just did that, I did splash it on my face, so well done for having the safety glasses on there. I don't know how Mark's going to film this, but here we go. That has been in the solution now for kind of like, oh, probably less than a minute. Let's have a look at that. That's quite a nice oh, antique. Works, it? Yeah, it's quite a nice antique finish that. I'm quite pleased. Let's just stick it in again because it doesn't really matter. Let's just stick it in. Now, clearly, we've got some sort of contamination, which is that little piece that you can see. So even though we've used the degreasing solution, maybe it needed to be in there just a little touch longer. I mean, that is just going absolutely brilliantly, that. That is absolutely superb, that, that finish. I mean, I don't even mind that little bit of... Look at that now. I mean, that it talk about antique. There we go. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to stop with that right now and pop it in our water bath. And I can see people out in internet world kind of probably pulling their hair out, going cross-contamination, etc. But it does say that we can pop this back. So in the interest of keeping as much of our solution as possible, let's get that back in there. Now that has been 
neutralized, I suppose. Uh, there we go. Now, to me, that is exactly what I am looking for when I'm blacking a piece of brass. That's a brilliant antique finish. Absolutely superb. In fact, better than I would have expected. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's taken something that this morning was just cut out of this piece of brass here. We don't have a control with the brass, but everyone kind of has an idea of what brass looks like. So look at that. That really is quite a quite a good finish. That is a great product. Brilliant. Really pleased with that. We're going to we'll put that to some use because we've got a few ideas moving forward and we we like to make things that look old. So, you know, we're going to be using this great product. Fantastic. Now let's have a look at uh, the process for um, blacking mild steel. So what we've got here is a piece of mild steel which has been kind of roughly polished up to about 240 grit. Um, so this is meant to kind of be your weld that you've ground off as such. Uh, this piece here is really just a control piece. So the idea being that we can kind of compare our black when we finish the process. So first things first, let's take that little piece of mild steel here that is just water on the surface there and what we do for about three or four, five minutes, just leave that in the alkaline degreasing solution. So our piece of mild steel has now been in the alkaline degreaser for about five minutes. So let's pop that out and then let's pop it in the conditioner for a minute. Give those a little wash. Let's just pop our little control piece there just to show we haven't got any kind of blacking at this point. So that's been in there about a minute. So we're just going to take that out of there now give it a little wash, make sure we remove all that conditioning solution. Okay, there we go, give it another one, give it a little drip dry, and drop that into our blacking solution. Now I think I can tell you that that is already reacting in there. So let's just move our little control piece along so we can see, we'll move our little water bath out of the way. The item wants to stay in there for about two to four minutes, it says here. I mean, I'm really kind of pleased with the way it's already. I kind of think you can kind of see gently agitate. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take that and just give that a swill. I mean, that's already reacting. You can kind of, it might be difficult to make out on the camera. What I might do is that there. That's making it look a lot darker than it actually is. In fact, yeah. But the idea is here that this is going to take that metal to a dark pewter colour. So we've agitated that as, wow, that is really darkening off now. So, I mean, these instructions are really easy to follow. I mean, they couldn't be easier. This process is it's not involved. I think if you set up before, you know you need five containers, away you go. Of course, it's going to be far easier doing little kind of um, small pieces than it is going to be doing huge sections. But if you were going to kind of... Um, black something this size, you know, the thing to do is to get yourself a little piece of half round guttering with two end caps, make sure you sit that on something so it's not going to kind of rock about and you're going to spill your solution. Um, and then literally clean, go through all the processes, dropping the entire length, uh, submerging the entire length of kind of um, uh, bar into the solution, um, which works really well. So uh, knowing that, Let's uh, return to our little thing. I think what we'll do is we'll pop this out now. Get rid of all that kind of oil. And then we'll just offer that up to our test piece. Well, I really like that. There's a slight hint of purple to that, which um, I really quite like. It really has reacted. Hold it up for me, big guy. Well, here we go. There you go. Let's, let's hold them both up, hey? So this is our... Hold on. Find that focus. There we go. So the piece on the right is our kind of control piece and the piece on the left is the piece that's just been through the process. At this stage it hasn't been in the uh, dewatering oil so I think what we're going to do is just drop it in there for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and have a look. Yeah really impressed with that. Well done Blackett. I've got a question. Oh yeah. All of your fixings are already on the chair. How are you going to do that? Well, this is exactly it. So I spoke, um, I kind of spoke at length uh, with Veronica at Blackett, um, and she kind of she's 
told us a little hack that we can use to hopefully for our application. Um, we can't obviously submerge that throne in all these solutions. I mean, first off, it's going to ruin the oak. Secondly, you know, I, well, the whole thing will be contaminated with these chemicals. I don't know what they are, and I've been assured that they're actually very safe to work with. Um, obviously take your precautions, but um, I think what we'll do is rather than kind of me sit here and explain it, we're going to go out there and we're just going to get on with it. All together. Uh, so yeah, what are we going to try and do? So this is our piece of polished up to 240 grit, which is exactly the same grit we've used here. Um, so really, what's, what's the plan? What are we trying to achieve? Well, we want to try and match this here onto here. So we are corrupting the process, but I spoke at length with Veronica from blackit.co.uk, black-it.co.uk, um, I spoke at length with um, Veronica and she gave me a method that we could use for this application. I mean, there we go. That's what we were trying to achieve, and I think we've really achieved it. I think it's worked a treat. Um, it's blacked those off, and it just goes to show you that, you know, I dare say your application might be very different from ours, but at the end of the day, if you've got a situation where you've had to take a piece of steel, you've had to cut it, you've had to weld it, you've had to then grind back those welds, and you want to hide the fact that you've done that, or just Aesthetically, you don't want people to see those glaring shiny bits of steel. This Blackett solution is absolutely superb. I'd recommend you give them a call. We're not affiliated with them in any way. We bought this product from them. They told me when we spoke to them that they'd be more than happy for us to do a kind of um, a quick demonstration of how it works and how good it is. Um, and you know, yeah, I'm really impressed, really happy with it. So if this is the kind of thing that you need, We'll stick, a, uh, we'll stick a link in the comments section so you can get to those guys. Give them a ring and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. Glovey, glovey, bang, bang. We'll put our gloves on. <coughs> okay.